Hi, everybody. It's Linda. I sound a little better, right? Today's day five of COVID, day three of Paxlovid. Um, yesterday, I just couldn't get my head out of bed. I wasn't even hungry. There you go. You know I was at death's door. Um, and that Paxlovid, uh, my friend Dan warned me that it gives you a metallic taste. It's more of an earwax. Like you got earwax. <laughs> it's a nasty. I'm using lens clinger to to get rid of to get rid of the, the the taste. Somebody wrote me and said Tums, and uh, she was right. Uh, if you chew, I chew not the whole thing, just bits and pieces of it, and it helps helps a little bit. So I end the Paxlovid. I was supposed to be on it five days, and I started. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I ended Friday. And then I think by Sunday, um, I should be in the clearing. But a lot of you guys say, hey, listen, it's, it lingers for a bit. So I'll be very careful. I've been watching a lot of TV. I've been watching a lot of YouTube. You guys send me a lot of YouTube links. And a lot of times I don't have time to watch the whole thing. So I was able to do it. And I told all my friends, oh, you're going to get sick and tired of, because uh, I'm sending those little funny, you know, those those ridiculous doggy shows and stuff, the ridiculous thing. <laughs> somebody said, somebody had a thing that said, so how was your day at work today? And it's this woman sitting in the passenger seat. She got a bottle of rum or tequila with a straw in it. <laughs> So I thought that was funny. Anyway, so I've been laughing a lot and coughing, but I think I sound better, right? But I am still sick. I'll tell you that much. You can feel it. It's just this feeling. I was so lucky. I got cocky. You know, um, I knew better than to fly without a mask because that's why they say you always get it. My nephew got it too. He's doing real good, by the way. And... um. And I even thought, damn, I forgot the mask. Well, maybe I could buy one, but I forgot about buying one. I swear I got it. How much you want to bet? Place your money right there on the table. So anyway, but, you know, we got to be talking about situations because I can't leave my peoples in the lurch. By the way, to my members, I did the list on my community page for members about our dates for our three card. When you're a member... I do a three card pool every Thursday, but I go by the first name of your YouTube name. So I do A through F. So I, I usually do it every Thursday. I would have done it today, but I wanted to give myself some time to recover. So I'll do it next Thursday, beginning next Thursday. The last Thursday based on your name will be Halloween. I also um, have some good news. Um, my beloved niece, Healy, who has our little boy, Asa, that had the brain surgery. He was born prematurely. She's having a baby shower up in Oregon. She's pregnant with a little girl. So she's in good care. So, you know, ho hopefully everything's status quo. But I went ahead and booked myself to go up there for her baby shower because like my daughter, her son's in school and my sister's in school. So someone's got to represent. So I'll go up there to for her baby shower. But I'm very, very happy that uh, Ace is going to get a little sister. And he better be nice to her because somebody's going to have to take care of the parents. And it doesn't have to be him. So anyway, <laughs> do you remember that on the nanny? She told that little boy, you better be nice to your sister because one day, Somebody's going to have to take care of your dad. You want it to be her. <laughs> Excuse me. So anyway, we got questions, you guys. By the way, in UPS, I got a beautiful ring. Um, so Celesta, Celestial Healing or something like that. I think she had written me and wanting the address to my mail address. And I got it. And I went to sit down because I want to thank her. And I can't find her. I can't. There was no address. It was a UPS address. So could you contact me at Rendell 9103 
gmail.com. That was very gracious, loving of you. Thank you so much. Um, you guys are just too generous sometimes, but it's a beautiful ring. It's in the other room, so <laughs> I can't I can't laugh because I'll cough. So so we got we got things to talk about. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, this is a good one. Kim just said, will Governor Hochel remove Mayor Adams here in New York City? She's looking at it now. I think I'm okay, too, as far as reading, because I did three two clients this morning. I had to cancel everybody, but I kept the Thursdays. And I rescheduled, and all my people that I rescheduled, if you haven't heard from me, who had readings scheduled for Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, Write me at Grendel 9103. I'm pretty sure I got everybody down, but if if I missed you, let me know because it's very important to get the readings in. But I was pretty good. I, I was tapping in. So and obviously when I read this last time, by the way, when I came on and did that reading, you all told me go to bed. <laughs> you look terrible. You sound awful, Linda. Go to bed. Um I don't hardly really remember even doing that, but I just wanted to give everybody a heads up of what's going on because I'm always thinking, you know, gotta let people know what you're picking up. And uh, so you would have thought I'd been, and I can be awful, but I was actually pretty good. Because if you look at what I said, <coughs> sorry, I said that um, that longshoreman thing was going to be, uh, part of it was going to be uh, Trump was involved with this. And that pompous guy that's in charge of it is trying to act like king for a day. But what I saw was, and it was true, they released something after that. The next day, I think, about how close he was with Trump and Trump would like to see. But it's not going to create a crash because I really concentrated today and I'll double check again, but I think before the end of this month, we'll, we'll be up and running. Um, but the thing is, Biden and, and Pete are saying, you know, it's it these guys, these longshoremen have the right because these shipping people are making hand over foot and they need to cut some change. <laughs> so they, I see Biden in the middle of it. I see them really pushing. And I see this other guy trying to be pompous and holding everything up, but I see his people say, oh, hell no. This guy has a mansion and Porsches and swimming pools, and, and he's trying, you know, these longshoremen make decent money, but it's expensive to live where they live. So anyway, it's going to work out before Christmas. Okay. And what was the other thing I said? I said about... Uh, I forgot. I do remember the longshoreman. And there was something else I said that was true. <clears throat> and then I did feel a somebody of significant dying before by the end of September. And that was um, two people died. Chris Christopherson and Maggie, the, the English actress. So anyway, okay. They were beloved. Okay, Governor Ochell. You guys will write me and tell me that I pronounced her name. Governor Hocho. Tell me, Governor. Sorry, I ain't sprucing up, but I, I took a shower. You guys are lucky I did that. Governor Hocho. And I'm not hungry, can you believe it? I mean, usually always try to figure out what's next. Matt Adams is in trouble. I told you he's in trouble. Big trouble. Oh, and the other thing is, um, what did we say? Not just, I'm sure not just me. What did we say? We said when the Supreme Court shipped that back to Judge Chutkin, <laughs> you figure out what's what. And what did I say? I said she's going to make it public that she's going to tell Jack, give me all the information. And she made it public. <coughs> and Trump is spitting nails. And she 
what it's doing is it's really showing and more to come, you guys. This was, remember when I was reading and I said something else was getting ready to hit him, Trump? This is one of them. There's something else too besides this. But um, yeah, it's going to get worse for him, not better. And then he's talking about shipping off all the immigrants, even legal ones. Pretty soon, I was just sitting here fantasizing, and I said, can you realize, you guys, on October 5th, it's one month, and then we don't have to listen about what he's thinking or what he's doing. None of that. <coughs> Did you guys know dogs can get COVID? I just looked that up. Lulu threw up a couple of times last night. Lightweight. I wasn't worried about her. But I looked it up, and yeah, dogs can get COVID. Okay, sorry I'm yapping, but I'm so happy to talk to people because I ain't talking to nobody and my poor son has to stay away from me. I get him to go and I tell him, just go get it. Get, get what you, get your food. I can't, the doctor told me not to even cook for him, even though he can't get sick from the eating the food, but I guess they just want me to stay as far away from him as possible. Okay, here we go. He's in big trouble. He's starting to feel it too. They got a lot of stuff on him. Ooh, hell yeah. So she's definitely thinking about it. He's trying to give her a story. Like, don't do this. Like, I'm innocent until proven guilty. You know, she may talk to him and advise him, why don't you give your notice? But he keeps saying, I'm innocent until proven guilty. But then he has to walk off. Swords all over him. It's really bad, you guys. It could be two weeks to four weeks some something will happen where he has to walk away. She may say, you know what? Well, I really just need you. To... At first, she's going to be nice and tell him, why don't you step down? And then she's going to have to give him a what for. Oh, so, yeah. Did Menendez step down when he was on trial or did he... This is another good one. God, you guys gave me some good questions. Will the Supreme Court squash Jack Smith's new brief when appealed? I love how my, this is from Colfern. I love how Michael Steele said on MSNBC about this. Now choke on this Supreme Court. <laughs> oh my God. Now choke on this. They can't dress this up and put a bow on it. If it looks like a turd, it is a turd. Well, the Supreme Court squashed. And 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 Trump went, oh, he's furious. You guys, he's so furious. I love it. I can feel it. I go to look at him and it almost burns me because the, the the energy is so he's so angry. I love it. Oh, I know what I said the last time I said that um, Tim Walsh would be on top for the debate. And that's exactly what happened. Because didn't you feel you had to take a shower after this uh, Walsh-Vance debate that you felt like Vance was pissing on your leg and telling you it was ringing? I just, I just went, President Trump protected the AC. <laughs> You know, and what I was going to say, too, in a month, we're done with this. We don't have to worry about what the heck Trump thinks. And listen, by the way, some guy took the postal where you could drop your things into, I don't know what state this was, 
But some idiot thought, a wise guy thought he would take the whole box and put it in his office. The feds showed up. And he tried to act like, oh, it's, it's no big deal. It's up to the clerk anyway. No, it's not. a. You leave that out there. But the feds showed up. But it didn't, didn't. That's the one thing our um, AG said. I'm, we're going to be on it. We're going to watch and make sure that they don't cheat. They're working as hard as they can, you guys. <laughs> He'll definitely take it to the Supreme Court. Oh, okay, thank you. So, God is over this. It's beyond the Supreme Court. What's going to happen is this. Trump is going to lose. By the time Trump tries to take this to the Supreme Court, Trump is a loser. Okay? So, I see chaos in the Supreme Court. What's that about? Ooh. Ooh, so we're going to get our, the Senate and I feel and Congress and Congress has the ability to put a, a crunch. In fact, they just came out with that. But of course, they won't do it now. But Congress has the ability to give the Supreme Court what for you'll live by these rules. It's totally illegal because remember, they're trying to say you can't touch us. Yeah. Yeah, we can touch, touch, touch. So. um this is going to change the makeup of the Supreme Court for sure. And they're going to put things in to make sure this never happens again. But I see immediately talking about having, I don't think the Supreme Court, I don't know if Trump can get it there because he's he may be trying to escape because they're also working, going to be doing the, um, the files he stole. Because he, he's treasonous. It's going to be so much that it's going to, he's either, I just feel like he goes down because he's ill or what. After he loses and there's no repercussions, there's nothing he can do. He can't even fight this. It's almost like it's, it's he doesn't have the money to pay. That's what I'm getting. But the Supreme Court will have to go to a higher standard and it doesn't include Thomas or Roberts. I see Kavanaugh being brought to the forefront. It's, it, and I'm telling you, Kamala, Kamala will be a lot tougher on them than Biden was. Kamala is not going to put up with it. She may pack it or something. There's some... There's some repercussion coming for the Supreme Court. You can take that to the bank. And it feels as soon as this thing is over, and they all know it. Also, don't, the people are all upset. Well, why aren't they talking about Jenny Thomas? You know, they, oh, he's going to get to that. He's going to get to that. But right now he has to concentrate on Trump. And then he'll get all those people in Congress and stuff. I told you this before. I hate repeating myself, but I need to remind you. <coughs> this too shall pass. So I don't want you guys to worry, but I saw all this chaos and I saw boxes being packed. And uh, I, I, it's maybe even they, this, okay, just food for thought, okay? What I'm seeing is almost like maybe after Trump loses and then, Everybody starts talking about, we're going to do this and that. And they all pack their bags and go. They might say, I could see even Robert saying, I'm done. I'm out of here. Like everybody's just giving a short notice and going. <coughs> That's what I get. And, and Kamala will be able to fill the seats with good people. She's already got a list. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a nice, young, good crowd in there. I love it. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Okay. So thanks for that question. 
chaos after with the Supreme Court after Trump loses because they know what's coming for them. They may even get subpoenaed or something's getting ready to take place where I feel hands being thrown in the air. And I almost feel like Trump doesn't, you know, he did that. This, can I look real quick? He, he did that GoFundMe for the poor people in this these areas that have suffered. By the way, we'll do prayers too. Not this Sunday, but next Sunday. We'll do prayers because we need to pray. Fortunately, Biden is sending all kinds of help in for these poor people who've lost everything. And I know I have clients that have lived in Asheville. I know I do. One did write me and said she's lost everything. So um, he did a GoFundMe and he got over, what, $4 million? $4 million and 3% of that's going to the people. <coughs> and he gets to keep the rest. There's got to be something they're going to do for that. That's why I want to ask. Are they going to let him keep that money? Is GoFundMe going to let him do that? Because that's really going to break my heart about GoFundMe. We need to find a different place because I won't do GoFundMe then. If they allow him to do that, that's not right. Please give for these poor victims. By the way, we're only going to give them 3% of what you send. Cool. And don't give to the American Red Cross. Don't forget what I've told you for all these years. I used to work for them. And, and um, that one guy, that one senator, his wife was their chief. They were making money hand over foot. They have a large overhead. When I was a young girl, like in junior high, I used to go to the base, to the uh, Naval Hospital. And we used to make Easter baskets and stuff and give it to those poor kids coming home from Vietnam with their legs gone and stuff. I remember being so touched by that. I, I think that's when I decided I always wanted to be a nurse. But no, the Salvation Army, there's other places. Don't Please don't give to the American Red Cross. And they're always right there. And a lot of people have given money to them thinking they're going to give it for Katrina and stuff. And they turn around and give it for something else and keep their overhead. Okay. I want to ask, will they be able to do something about that GoFundMe? Will that be looked at? He's such a problem. And how did he get $4 million? Well, it's the rich people. Apparently, most of it is the, it's the wealthy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah. He may think he's getting something, but there'll be some sort of stop on it and the cycle will change and they're going to say, you know what? Nah. Something's going to happen. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a good question. Sunflower. Is the devastation caused by the hurricane going to affect voting in North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida? Not Florida. North Carolina, yes. They're working hard to try to get people to be able to vote, but I do see a big chunk. Mostly... I do get, but it's not going to, they're still going to be able to vote, but it just feels, Florida doesn't feel like it's as affected. Um, and Georgia feels like it's hanging in there. Can you believe about Tennessee, about that plastics place where the guy said you'll be fired if you leave and all those people died? Oh, he's going to lose his plastics, but they're going to sue. Let me tell you right now, there are attorneys in, and tons of attorneys heading down there as we speak saying, hey, let me handle this case. Um, once when I was going down to Jackie Box to pick up food for my mom and my brother and sister, and uh, I drove down there, and my dad's 63 Red Impala 
it was just down the street from my house. And, um, you know, I got everybody's drinks on the seat. I got all the food there. And uh, I was getting ready to go to go left and I, my car was stopped and I hear a boom. And then I thought, oh, thank God that didn't hit me. Then a boom. So I was like, what the heck? And so I jump, of course, I had my little number on them days. You had your little mini skirts, you know what I'm saying? Because I think I just got off work. I worked at Hartfields uh, and I had this cute little dress going because I just got home and I was going to pick up food. So um, I jumped out of the car and uh, this VW, the guy was totally bloody. He had hit this woman and the woman hit me and she was like smashed between us. And he was, you could smell the alcohol. He was hella drunk. And she was in the car, but she was flat back. And I'm like, are you okay? No, she said, no, I'm not. And um, people were running, you know, everybody's coming. And my drinks had fallen over in the Impala in my dad's car. And the cops are coming over and, and uh, you know, they immediately got an ambulance for her. And they looked, this guy, they were, you know, had to call an ambulance, but they were going to arrest him. He was obviously drunk and the cops saying, you know, and get that Impala out of here. I said, but I was in the accident. <laughs> He's like, what? That Impala was a beast. Let me tell you, I think there was a little dent. And that woman's car was smashed, but that Impala had a little tiny dent in it. I think my dad got like $400 or something. But yeah, dad, daddy, why get it fixed, you know? So, uh, but the one thing that was so funny is that I had so many people coming up, men coming up to me, handing me their card. Oh, yes. How's your back feel? <laughs> Please call me. Please call me right away. I'll take care of you. <laughs> but the cop's like, well, are you hurt, ma'am? Is there any damage? I said, well, my drinks got spilled. Like, he's going to kill. Oh, let me go get you some more drinks from Jackie Box. <laughs> so anyway, I, I don't know why I'm telling you guys these stories, but it was good times, good times. But uh, I felt sorry for that lady. I think she did okay, but that guy was in a Volkswagen. He hit the windshield. He was just bloody. I don't think he felt a thing. You know, Kathy wants to know, do you feel Kamala will win Florida? And I think so. I need to talk to Sean. Sean and I were going to kind of get together this week. But I said, dude, I, got COVID. I can't think. So I'm going to contact him about next week. And be sure to watch his show. He said something about uh, Cruz is in trouble. So I love it. So we'll talk to him. But I really do think Florida could be in the bag for her. I really do. Um, and Michael, uh, will our governor in Texas ever be in trouble for his inhumane acts? It's going to take about two years. I'm so sorry. But he, it will. Let me tell you. You guys are witnessing this now. The earth is readjusting, so you can't be comfortable where you're sitting anymore because you don't know if it's going to be there anymore. And people who are creating hardship for everybody are going to have to pay. Case in point, that woman today got nine years for um, trying to hold off to give Trump, you know, she was the city something. That blonde woman and that judge gave her a what for. He said, you know, you come in here acting like you have hardship with four attorneys. And um, she did lose her husband recently and he gave her that. He said, but you just really, it's all about you. You just really think, I think a judge is going to give uh, Trump a what for too. <coughs> so, but listen. Let me look at J.D. Vance real quick, because I didn't get a good feeling about him. I don't think he's going to win again in Ohio. I don't think he's going to be able to keep his seat. Did you see how much the approval ratings went up for our walls? At first, he was nervous. This is true. And there are things I wish he would have hit him back even harder on. But I can understand. You know how you've had things happen in your life and you thought, Come on in. You know, you'd be laying in bed and sit up and say, 
why didn't I say that? Why didn't I say that? He was nervous at first, I could tell. He's just, but when, when Vance was talking some weird stuff about Hillary Clinton, the look on, 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 on Walsh's face was just, he's got this fake expression and he was just looking at him like, what? Tell me about. Okay, thank you. Well, the guys just told me that it is true. They really want Trump to win, but they are talking about making Vance the president. Like they'll manage somehow to get Trump out. Like they're even talking to the bigwigs that are giving all that. You wonder why are these people still? Because they're talking about, you may vote for Trump, but we're going to get that cray cray out of there. That's what I just got. Yeah, he's going to have to pick up the pieces and move forward. He's going to be in trouble. What did he do? Oh, my goodness. He's going to be in trouble. He has got some real hardships coming up. He's going to be a has-been. The worst thing he could have done was work with Trump. Mm -hmm. Um. Pete Flower says, I'm so glad you're still alive. My sister and her husband had COVID too, mostly coughing, but no fever. I didn't have a fever. It takes about two to three weeks. Damn it. Got it. I needed to be gone sooner than that. My son's birthday's on Sunday. So I really wanted to go take him out to dinner, but um, Sunday I should be clear though, because that's 10 days. So, um, but I didn't have a fever. I was kind of lucky because it just felt like a bad cold, but I felt high, like I wasn't in my body. I felt like I was, like when I sat down and did that that show with you guys, I, I, I can't tell you what I said. I don't know. I was COVID and dialing, you know. I just don't know who I talked to or what was going on. And I know the doctors were very nice. And, you know, I, I remember going to the pharmacy, I actually came out of the house and, uh, you know, really hoping that Paxlovid worked. It took several days, but I was warned it would take a couple of days. But I still don't feel grounded. I still don't feel, feel like my head. But it always felt like a bad head cold and I never had a sore throat <coughs> or a headache. I'm even, you know, coughing because I'm talking. If I don't talk, I don't cough. Okay. Yeah, Linda. This is from Melinda. Yes, thank you. I thought about that. I was sitting there watching all those 2020 um election fraud said he did that Jack Smith just had publicized. Oh, he's so pissed. Trump is so pissed. It will affect people. Because if you think about it, those people that went down there for January 6th, they thought this truly had been uh, taken away from Trump. They really thought that they believed him. And then he lied and knew he was lying and didn't care. He just wanted everybody to fight, even though he lost. <coughs> Ooh, okay. One hour ago, Rian, Rian said that her city of Sagina, Michigan, gave Trump the cold shoulder. Tiny crowd. It's going to get smaller and smaller. Let me tell you, he knows it's coming. He's got it coming, you guys. I often saw tomatoes being thrown. Do you remember that? I think he's going to go down so hard. And so many Republicans are coming out and saying, no, we we want. They're not because they don't like J.D. Vance either. So good Republicans, solid Republicans are willing to go with Kamala instead of him. And listen, Kamala will try. She won't be conservative, but she'll try to look at both sides. 
<laughs> she'll be able to work on the other side better than Biden was able to. And it's not Biden's fault. It's just that maggot thing was going on and people were thinking that he stole the election. He never stole the election. Oh, honey. Canute said, I would like to ask if Trump and the family disband after his loss. Listen, we're going to have some talking to do. First of all, he's going to lose and he's going to lose bigly. And then I'm going to tell you, disband. Oh, yeah. It's just nothing burger. Somebody was talking to Don Jr. And he was giving all the thumbs up. He was at the band thing, you know, talking about how great. And this reporter actually said, well, you do remember that Vance called Trump Hitler. Called your dad Hitler. He didn't make a comment. Uh, and the outlook for the longshoremen, I, I look today because I really want to know. Remember, toilet paper is not made overseas. Paper towels and all that. It, it's going to affect auto parts and stuff like that. But I did ask and I did the pendulum and I read on it too before and I felt before the election and I feel it's like the ending, not the total end, but I felt the third week of October and I feel it's because it's being pushed. But I don't think that leader wants it. I think he wants to create this chaos. I don't think it, it's a lot of that fake news stuff, because just like with the one of the reasons we suffered with the, the prices of groceries and something and stuff was because the people up the rate just because they could, not because they were shortchanged. They overdid it and made it all kinds of money. So, but I do see that they will come and I have a good conclusion. Okay. Okay. Okay, so listen. Netanyahu hit a facility that had Russia stuff in it where some bombs for Russia were. And he definitely didn't pass it by Biden. I don't know why Biden keeps drawing the line and he keeps stepping. What did I tell you guys? He doesn't listen to anybody. So now he's hitting Iran and I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you, he will be hitting again, by the way. They want him to calm it down. But a lot of people are excited about the fact like, oh, yeah, now let's just destroy Iran. But it's not a good idea. And Biden knows this. But they're talking amongst themselves. They really, I, I can't believe our nation has so much intel because they're really keeping a close eye on what's going on. And did you see Trump? When Remember when Iran bombed our people, our military, and they had that traumatic brain injury and he yeah. acted like yeah well what's an injury like no big deal and do you know those men should have got a purple heart and none of them did because trump didn't consider it they all suffered terribly oh god he's just the worst person in the world god forgive me i just cannot stand him i'm so sorry and you know i told you guys we can't stand in that energy of hating him but it's hard sometimes when you see innocent people, good people, especially the military. He's just so cruel to them. Okay. Um, there's a lot of Netanyahu, you know. Tell me about Netanyahu. Oh, they're and you know, Netanyahu has a pretty strong base like that. Marjorie Taylor Green with Mike Johnson. By the way, they did come up with a budget. I told you guys they would. But Marjorie Taylor Green and all of them, they 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 would make people suffer if you dare stepped over the line and didn't do what Trump said. That's the same thing with Netanyahu with his right wing people. Oh no, no, you better not. You better listen to us. That's what I heard. Okay. 
So, And then Trump lied about the hurricane that that Georgia that had. It, it, he wouldn't get a hold of them, and what an idiot! And he lied. Brian Kemp, thank goodness, I'm not a fan of Brian Kemp, but he said no. The president called me. I missed his call. I called him right back. He said, "What do you need?" Ooh, this isn't good, you guys. That's not sunshine lollipops. There's some deaths coming up. Um, I even feel it like assassination kind of energy. Um, November is going to be a hard, a hard time. The world is watching. Um, some very swift eight days, eight weeks, eight months, boom, 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 swift things taking place, and then a new beginning. We fight evil and win. But remember, I, I often saw, I could have swore I saw Netanyahu maybe even going before the end of the year. So I don't know what he does. It might even be Iran gets somebody in there and takes them out. But something's going to happen, and Putin is definitely going downhill. Putin would love to jump in the middle of this because the bombs that are hitting... Israel are Russian bombs. So, yeah, Putin would love to get in the middle of this, but he doesn't have he doesn't have the um the weapons, he doesn't have the ability. Okay. So, um will the Jack Smith redacted report change any opinions? Yes, some, not all. Don't forget, Trump is going to go down. Pretty soon the, on these shows they're going to be saying oh yeah he dropped a point he dropped two points um everybody's saying glad you're alive uh kathy wrote the, the wrong thing kathy write to me at brindle 9103 at gmail.com and put prayers in the subject matter um because this is for political questions. She's asking for prayers for um, her stepdaughter. Okay. Uh oh, Emma says she's been sick for for three months. Yeah, I just, it's I've heard war stories. I thought I was all that a cup of tea. Never had it. Thought I was totally immune to it. Boom, I got hit. Uh, everybody's just sending me well wishes. Well, thank you, you guys. So, um, well, I'm home now and, and I'm going to be reading. You guys write me like you do. Tell me to focus on something and I'll do it. I'm just going on baby steps now, getting my, my energy going and, uh, feel pretty happy. Feel pretty good. So I really appreciate all the love and wishes and uh, thank you so much. And I'll probably do prayers, uh, not this Sunday, next Sunday. And thank you for the questions and we shall see. Now, let me ask before we close, do you have anything else you want me to tell everybody? I speak, guys. Try to clear out the fog around me. I got my backyard thing keeps going up because I got a little black kitty back there coming in and out from the bushes from the neighbors to my house. All over the place. Little thing. It's not big, but I don't bear befriend it because my dogs would, I don't know what they would do. And, uh, but we used to have a rat problem. And I'm thinking, well, you know, probably plenty to eat around here. Tell me about The only thing is cats are the worst for killing birds. My son said they kill more birds than anything else. I don't know what, nobody touched my hummingbirds. Tell me about, what do you want me to tell them? Thank 
Thank you. They just said the greatness is, of man is is coming through the clouds and opening within this universe. We will come to a time of peace. Man cannot work without resistance. We tend to create resistance to probably feel ourselves or to know that we're here. Okay, thank you. More storms are coming, I'm so sorry. All around, it's not just the United States. More storms are coming. Um, I told you guys, don't, and other psychics have said this, all I could see was water. Do you remember that? All I could see was water. And I kept saying, be careful, especially over there with Florida and North Carolina. I said, there's a lot of water. Even New York's going to get hit by something. Eyes are upon us. Well, is it the eyes of Intel or is it the eyes of the ETs? We're being watched by the, the terrestrial. We're being watched also by high energy archangels. That's what they're telling me. Justice is with us. Justice will be served. And I don't think anything bad's going to happen to our economy because the money looks great. So they're telling us that to have hope. Hope is with us. It, it, it may seem like we're kind of stuck right now and, you know, but I think when Trump loses, it's really going to help us to move forward. Oh, and by the way, <coughs> did you see the judge remove the restriction of, uh, of uh, student forgiveness? And now Biden has the opportunity to forgive student loans. Isn't that great? That was some good news. Goodness is coming. Know that. Love you all. Catch you on the other side. Cheers.